there's 12 new special camos in modern warfare 3 some of them look amazing other ones not so much the catch being that each one of these camos costs 12 dollars in this video we're gonna buy them all take them in game test them out see the alt texture and we're gonna rank them all that way you can see if any of these camos are the right fit for you if you want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to unlock that subscribe button so i guess it's time to whip it out and make my wallet cry because this is gonna be an expensive one Ouch. Yeah, one like equals one prayer for my wallet. The new camos come in the 2024 CDL team packs, and each one of these, you get four operator skins, a new universal camo, meaning it can be used on all weapons in the entire game, even Modern Warfare 2 weapons, a large decal, a weapon sticker, a charm, an emblem, and a calling card. And the cool thing about this year is all these camos are different. Last year, it was one pattern, and the colors changed. Each of these 12 camos are completely different. They all look unique, and that's why we need to test them all out individually. First, we've got the Vegas Legion pack with the Vegas Legion camo, and this is a perfect place to start because this isn't the best out of all the camos, but it's also not that bad. I really like how this camo stands out. There's no other camo in this game that you can earn or you can buy that really looks anything like this. It's got their logo in the middle, so you know what team it's for if you couldn't tell by the colors. Then we've got the alt texture of the camo, and the alt texture for the camo is just completely blacked out. It doesn't even look like there's a camo on this weapon. Uh, we've got the decal, the charm, and the sticker as well. Here's one of the operator skins that come in this pack. If we're being honest, the only thing I really care about in any of these CDL team packs is the camo. As someone who doesn't really watch the CDL and doesn't follow any of the teams, I'm sure if you follow the teams, you're going to want to buy whatever pack is, you know, your favorite team to be able to support them. But uh, during our ranking list, I'm pretty much only going to be ranking via the camo and how cool it looks. It's going to have nothing to do with any of the teams. And with this being the first one we're kind of, uh, you know, rating, I think it seems fair to give this one 5 out of 10. It seems to be kind of, you know, it's all right. And uh, I think 5 out of 10 is a good rating for this one. That gives us room to put everything else either above this or below this. Next up, we've got the LA Gorillas pack and camo, and I really like this one. I think the purple, the gold, and the black match each other very well. And it's got, it's almost like painted on. It's got brush strokes on it for the purple. And I know I said this about the last one, but there's no other camo in this game that you're able to unlock or buy anywhere else that looks like this camo. It's very unique and unique to this pack here. Uh, the alt texture, completely purple. Uh, also got the charm, the sticker, and all the other goodies if you care about those. One of the four operator skins. Overall, very impressed with this pack. I like it more than the last one we just reviewed. If I had to give it a ranking, and this, you know, might be a little bit biased because purple is one of my favorite colors, and I think it looks really good as a camo. That combined with the gold, you know, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. A solid 8 out of 10 ranking on this pack. New York Subliners pack, and the camo is very yellow. It's got a lot of detail on it, but almost so much detail, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Maybe that's just me, but it seems it seems a little bit cluttered. Uh, we have the alt texture, and the alt texture is the same thing. The alt texture doesn't change it. Uh, also got the charm on there, which has a New York Statue of Liberty rat with the torch. And the decal and sticker if you care. Here's one of the operator skins that come in the pack. And it looks a little bit weird. I don't like how the helmet's still white and then the rest of it's yellow. I feel like they should have made the helmet yellow. But maybe that would have given away their position a little too much in the, the CD. I'm not sure why they left the cap on this one white. Uh, back to the camo. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, not the biggest fan of all the pattern and stuff on it. And I just... For the most part, yellow camos, in my opinion, don't really hit too well on weapons, especially when it comes to blueprints. So for that, I'm going to give this one a ranking of 3 out of 10. Maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh, but that's my opinions on this camo. Moving on to the Seattle Surge pack, and the camo it comes with is straight electrifying. Um, This is hands down the best one we've reviewed so far. Love the electricity, love the teal at the top, flows together very, very well, and just makes for an overall very good looking weapon. And I'm pretty sure no matter what you slap this on, gonna look fantastic the all texture is it makes it look like a toy gun it's like a plastic toy gun that is completely teal this is uh it, it changes the camo completely when you put it on all texture blueprint uh, also got the charm and sticker there it says surge on the charm this all texture is what you'd get with every cdl camo from last year you put it on all texture blueprint and you get the toy gun plasticky look and feel honestly i think i like the alt texture just as much as the actual camo you get kind of two different distinct camos for the price of one with this one i mean as long as you have an alt texture blueprint to slap it on operator skin looks pretty decent but the real star of the show is the camo if i had to rank this oh it is it is real hard not to give this camo a 10 out of 10 because not only do you have this i know we already talked about it 
but between it and the all texture i think i'm gonna do it i think the seattle surge camo and pack is gonna get a 10 out of 10 i mean dude look at that electric it's it, it just nice it's good so first 10 out of 10 on the board is there going to be any other camo that can top this one next we've got the carolina royal ravens pack and the camo it comes with is pretty mid i feel like this color scheme we've seen a lot the black blue and silver just kind of overplayed even some of the rank play camos we got in the past kind of look like this the raven symbol on it every so often is kind of cool uh the all texture is a dark solid blue their charm is a tea bag though that um that is probably the best part about this pack is you you get a tea bag with their name on it the operator skins for the royal ravens do look pretty cool my favorite part are the blue hands out of all the different operators we've seen uh, i like the blue hands the best the camo is what really disappoints this bundle for me if i was gonna rank this i think i'd give it a two out of ten just because it's a pretty forgettable camo and i don't ever see myself using this again uh after this video this will probably be the last time you see me use this oh wait a minute if you take it in a darker area it almost looks like the ravens glow maybe it's just hold on let's take it into an even darker area there's no way yeah they definitely don't glow but if you take it in the right lighting it almost kind of looks like the ravens are glowing like right here it kind of it kind of gives off the impression that they're illuminated but sadly uh no no they're not ranking still stands two out of ten our lowest ranking so far here's the optic texas pack and the camo it comes with is very different but not in a bad way it's got this very standout green black and a little bit of gray it's liquefied in the middle and it's just unique there's no other camo we've reviewed so far out of all these that look anything like this the alt texture very very lime green uh, almost looks like an army man gun the charm is a brick wall holding another charm uh a bunch of goodies with this one the arms kind of look like you are in a spacesuit a little bit if it didn't have the optic logo on the left hand side maybe we'll get low gravity oh no <laughs> well surprise surprise when you go in third person uh the operator skin no longer looks like an astronaut i think the the lime texture might have something to do with that overall i was really impressed with this camo in the menu and the preview icon for it doesn't look that great doesn't look that vibrant Hop into game with it. Looks amazing. The texture is amazing. A uh, great looking army man, all texture. Overall, I think I'm going to have to give this one an eight out of 10. Not the best we've seen so far, but pretty close. Next, we've got the Miami Heretics pack. And this one is definitely bold. The color choice for this contrasts each other and it stands out a lot. It's got a little bit of a pattern on the weapon. You can see it's got a little bit of shapes in there, but besides that, not a ton going on. Uh, but the orange bright and vibrant and the alt texture is just more 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 orange a lot, lot, lot of orange sticker seems to be broken though it is not a png it's a jpeg it's got a giant white box around it and no uh that's that's not like it just because the spot and weapon we put it on if you put this sticker on any spot on any weapon yes you get that giant square around it as well which that's definitely a bug and will get fixed charms basic and so is the decal the operator skin's pretty noticeable, but the most standout thing are the neon orange gloves. You're not going to miss those, and you can even see those win in first person. Overall, not the most exciting skin we've seen so far, but not the worst. Pretty average. So I'm going to have to go with a 5 out of 10 with this one. Uh, the thing that brings it up a little bit, in my opinion, is the orange alt texture blueprint, but it's uh, still going to be a 5 out of 10. Moving on to the Atlanta phase pack and camo, and oh man, that is clean. That is a very bold version of red, white, and black, and together, it is just a clean looking camo. This is going to look great on a lot of blueprints. Looks good on normal versions of the weapon. All of these colors and the pattern go together so nicely. Uh, the alt texture is completely white it's like a white out version of the camo almost looks like a 3d printed weapon if someone was going to 3d print this weapon um with white filament this is what i would assume it would look like the operator skins are very similar to the camo big surprise yeah i'm gonna have a hard time not ranking this 10 out of 10 this is definitely gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me camo looks amazing alt texture looks just insanely ridiculous and uh definitely gonna be using this camo after this video is it better than the other one we ranked 10 out of 10? Um, I'm not sure, but we'll wait till we get to our ranking list to decide that. But this is definitely an easy 10 out of 10 for me. This is the Minnesota Roker Pack and Camo, and I don't think there's any way to sugarcoat this. Uh, this one looks like trash. Definitely the worst we've seen so far. Very basic. Looks like a camo you'd get for just getting 50 kills with a weapon. Nothing special about it. Honestly, it looks like the camo they sold in the pack last year. They just covered it up and you get to see less of the camo. If you bought last year's Minnesota Roker camo, um, you use use that one over this. This one, I just, 
I don't know. Maybe it's just not my taste. And there's people out there who like the way this one looks, but uh, the colors aren't terrible. It's just the design choices. The alt texture is just purple. Uh, there is a little bit of a pattern on the alt texture. Though. This is one of the only ones that actually you can see some lines going on with the alt texture, which makes it unique. Uh, the charm is the axe, which is cool, but yeah. Just for reference, uh, this was last year's version of the camo. So if you bought the pack last year, this is the camo you got. Uh, and this is the camo from th this year. You can see very similar, except one of them just has a lot less color to it and is way more covered up. The operator skins look okay. I wish I could say the same about the camo, uh, but that's not the case. Like I was saying at the beginning of this, nothing against the teams who make these. I've got no affiliation with any of these teams. Uh, I don't really watch CDL, but this one, I I'm going to have to give a zero out of 10. This is by far the worst we've seen, and I could never see myself using this camo again uh, after this video. Honestly, I don't even want to hold the weapon on the way out. I'd rather just use my fist. This, this is what we're going to exit with. Screw that. Now for the LA Thieves pack and camo. Ooh, and I'm a little bit torn on this. This is a fantastic looking camo. It looks great. However, there's already a few camos in the game that kind of remind me of this. There's a lot of red camos and red and black is a very common combination already in the game. But this one does, even with that, manage to stand out a little bit. Uh, here's the alt texture and the alt texture doesn't really change at all. I guess it's no it's not different at all yeah it's same thing uh charm looks pretty cool sticker and everything looks cool i guess about the same here's one of the operator skins that came in the bundle now even though i just compared this to a few other camos that look like it i still think this is the best out of all those is it 12 dollars better that's up for you to decide but if i had to give this camo a ranking you know, compared to the ones that it already looks like in the game, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. If there weren't camos that were very similar to this already, it might have been a little bit higher, but I think 6 out of 10 is very fitting for the LA Thieves camo. Moving on to the Toronto Ultra Bundle, and whoo, that is a good-looking camo. This reminds me of DM Ultra. You got the purple, the light blue, the white, and it's all mixed together like a liquid metal effect. Obviously, it's not animated like DM Ultra. I, none of the CDL camos are animated. I'm pretty sure they weren't allowed to do that. Then we've got the alt texture, which is a dark purple, and the, the charm is massive. I'm not sure what Toronto Ultra is compensating for, but uh, they definitely got the biggest charm out of all of these bundles. That is a big rabbit. Also, the sticker and other stuff's on here, too. The operator skin, once again, is just the team colors. Where the real magic happens is, is with the camo. I don't think I can give this anything besides 10 out of 10. No other camo in the entire game looks anything like this. Looks beautiful. Gonna look great on a lot of blueprints. Uh, is it the best? I'm not sure I'm going to give it the number one spot, but it's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 ranking as of now. And the Boston Breach pack and camo. The design stands out. It's interesting. You got the neon green. You got the face missing an eye there. However, the issue with camos like this that put something in the middle of it with a lot of weapons, it's going to crop off part of it where the trigger's at and you're not going to get that full face picture. Luckily on this SMG on the striker, you get to see all of it, which is very cool. The alt texture, once again, another army man weapon in the neon green just looks funny. The charm, emblem, and uh, decal. The operator skin, once again, looks like the other 12 bundles. Big surprise. And yeah, overall, if I had to rank this one, it's not a bad looking camo, but dude, I feel like there's nothing special about this one. I'm probably going to give it a 4 out of 10. The optic green camo is just a way better looking green camo. This one isn't terrible, but compared to the optic one, yeah, the optic one takes the cake every day. 4 out of 10, final decision. Okay, now that we've shown off all of the new paid CDL league camos, we're going to rank these worst to best, starting off with the worst camo. Keep in mind, ranking is subjective. These are all visuals and looks, so my favorite might not be your favorite. In the number 12 spot, we've got the Minnesota Roker camo. There's not much to say about this camo besides that it was so bad, it kind of set itself apart from all the other camos with how bad it was. Then we have the number 11 spot. We've got the Carolina Royal Ravens, just a pretty mid camo overall. In the number 10 spot, we've got the New York Subliners. It's not a terrible design. It was just a little too cluttered for me and it was hard to make out everything that was going on with it. Number nine, we've got the Boston Breach camo. Cool green camo, however, it's really outshined by the optic camo, which is also green, and I would just recommend that camo in every way over this one. 
Number eight, we've got the Miami Heretics. It's got a color scheme that stands out and I can see myself using it in the future at some point, but it's just overshadowed by the rest of the camos on this list. Number seven, we got the Vegas Legion camo, which looks way different than all of the other camos here. It's got way more of a fancier design. The colors on it are pretty cool as well. Number six, we've got the LA Thieves camo, which does look great, but the biggest downside is there's other camos that look better, and these are free camos that you don't have to pay $12 for. You just gotta grind a weapon out a little bit, which will take a couple games on shipment. Number five, we've got the Optic Texas camo. This is when the camos start to get really good. It's got that liquefied green, and it just, it's a really unique looking camo, and I'm definitely gonna be using it. We've then got the LA Gorillas, which is the black and the purple, and it's got like the brush strokes on it, like this one a lot. Number three, we got Seattle Surge, and this is the electric, and it, it just, I mean, I'm gonna say the same thing over and over for these top three, because they're all really good looking. Love this one a lot, the Seattle Surge one. Then in number two, we've got the Toronto Ultra one, which has got that DM Ultra type look to it, almost like that liquid metal. And for the number one spot, I'm gonna give that to Atlanta phase. And I know there's other red camos in the game right now. There's a lot of them, but the way the red, white, and black work together on this camo, it's super bold, super in your face, and it's gonna look really good on most of the blueprints in the game. But just because I gave this the number one spot doesn't mean there aren't other good camos in this list. Honestly, I think the top five on my list are all really good camos and worth getting. Uh, six and below, it's kind of hit or miss whether or not you just like the team, you like the way the camo looks. But uh, the top five, even if you're not a fan of these teams, these camos are going to go great on a lot of weapons. And those are the ones that are really worth it, in my opinion. But keep in mind, each one of these camos is going to set you back $12.00. Uh, which is a lot for a camo, but at least this time around, they aren't like the CDL camo last year where it was the same pattern over and over again. And all they did is change the colors. But with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock the subscribe button. And out of these 12 camos, let me know which are your top three. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these. Can't move.